Wow, you look gorgeous. Thank and I love you. your eyes are like the exact same color of this dress. Oh, that wasn't planned. That wasn't planned? But it happened. And the throne, you know, dominates it and, and has to be, you know, like 30 feet tall or something like that. And, and I don't know, 20 feet tall, big, tall thing. Where the king on it looks over the room. I mean, that's described at, at numerous points when you're up there. You're looking down on everyone the way I am looking down on you peasants and little people. <laughs> see, I can see the top of your head and see that that's psychologically very important to a throne. It, it makes you and I up here feel dominant over these. Well, there are those people up there. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was scared of meeting you today, <laughs> but you're, you're not giving off much of a creepy vibe. You well, do have some... wait, wait until it's, uh, you know. <laughs> 30 more seconds yeah, exactly. and then the creepiness. No, so. um, it, people get, um, they're very, I mean, they're in general so excited about this show. It's insane. Mm. Um, and it's, and it's, but it's good for me that I don't get recognized that easy because otherwise I think people would come after me and try to burn me. <laughs> do you ever uh, look at a decision that Caitlin has made, you know, maybe taking Tyrion captive or freeing the Kingslayer and go, oh, why did she do that? Uh, she's basically you... <laughs> started a world war. Oh, no. oh well. Uh... Do you think you would have done it differently? <laughs> no, I don't uh. think so. Um, no, I think, you know, you got, I mean, of course, in retrospect, you go, oh, for fuck's sake, what did she do that for? They always ask me to say Arya's list. Bold Frey. With their name on the list, which is creepy. The mountain. So many people have videos of me like, Joffrey, Cersei, Alan. <laughs> is there any, something you've written and you've gone, why did I do that? No. 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 <laughs> No, I'm pretty happy with most of what I've done. Uh, you know, <laughs> there are uh, there, there are a few things uh, that that you were not aware of because, as a gardener, um, with the kind of writing style that I that I use, um, I go down a lot of dead ends. So there are moments of why the hell did I do that? But they never appear in the books because hopefully I I say that before the book comes out and then I. <laughs> I rip out that chapter or I revise that chapter so, you know, something, something different happens instead and it, it feels better, it, it works better for me, so. We find out she speaks Valyrian and, you know, there was a lot of, like, moments where she was just really, like, just so girl power and amazing. I mean, she is in every season, but... And we were, and we were just like, I feel like this scene reminds me of this Beyonce song. So it was like, it became a bit of a thing and, you know... The sort of who run the world kind of became a bit of a catchphrase. And so sometimes we'll be on set and we'll just, she'll say something um, in the scene and then we'll cut and then I'll be like, who run the world? And she's like, girls. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's very fun. What do you, what is the first thing you look for? Um, nowadays it's whether I'm going to die or not. Because <laughs> it's so unpredictable. They just, uh -huh. they kill all of us off. So um, I, I'm, I, ch I check at the end of, you the go right to the season. end? Or oh, no, I'm like flicking through. I'm like, death, death, death. death. Okay, right. I'm good for this season. You're good for this yeah. season. You know, happy family life at Winterfell, and that is literally the last you ever see it. It's, yeah. it's just, <laughs> it's know. ripped apart. They, they love That's that stuff sweet. here, apparently. But I it's know. just ripped apart yep. straight from there, and then just layers just get pulled off Caitlin's character. Layers get pulled off other characters as well in a different yeah. sort of way. But I was the only one that had a, that HBO put a no nudity clause into, so I got to keep all my clothes on. So, That's it. so HBO wrote that into your contract? Oh yeah, they put it in. Is that offensive yeah. or? Uh, <laughs> well, I can't say I was disappointed. You know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, from Sansa Stark's point of view, it would be very much like, you know, manipulate, uh, Show off. She'd say, like, show off your sexuality to get what you want. So can't wait to see David Cameron showing off his sexuality. Um, I don't know. I, I think, uh, yeah, just really manipulative, evil, sneaky. Talking about meaty characters, apart from your own, who on Thrones do you think we should be most paying attention to in season six? Arya. <laughs> Apart from your own. No, I thought you said apart from Jon Snow. Apart from your own. Something's going on about Jon Snow. Um... Um, Daenerys, it's a very, very strong year. But she's always got a strong year, so that's like a cheap answer. <laughs>
Uh, we, we were in a, I think there were about 200 people there at the entire convention. We were in a hotel called The Diplomat here in Melbourne, which was one of the biggest flea bags uh, you, could <laughs> ever, you could ever expect. It had, a, it had a bar about the size of this table, <laughs> which was troublesome because the bars are the centers of a traditional science fiction convention. And so there were about 40 people jammed into the bar, and one of them was Peter Nichols smoking his big cigars. So uh, we all were smoking a cigar that, uh, that weekend. It was right across from Luna Park. I remember uh, I could look out my windows and see that hideous demon face. <laughs> that actually inspired the White Walkers, which is an interesting <laughs> fact. But, well, this, this time we've rolled out the real red carpet for you. It's the finest theatre that 1975 has to offer. So, <laughs> fantastic. It's, it's, um, I, think, I, I like it. It's very cool. I think it'd be fair to say, based on what you just said, that you don't write to a plan. The, the writing more just you know, grabs you and, and you just sort of chase it. Uh, yes and no. I, I mean, I, I do know where I'm going. I, I uh, know where the story ends. I know the fate of the principal characters. No, I'm not going to tell any of you. Um, but there is a considerable amount that you discover in the process of writing. You, I'd say that Theon would say it's important to have a voice. <laughs> so you need to vote. Um, and, and I would say to the candidates um, to just keep it together. And uh, and don't don't lose any part of yourself that was there before. <laughs> it's an old house, that is true. But I mean, you know, it's drafty. It's drafty. It's not necessarily the most kind of like comfy place. Okay. Cool. I love my home. Wait, say again. I love my home. That was a horrible <laughs> thing to say. My home is very cozy and comfy. But you know, it's 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 cold and drafty, yeah. and there are you know brick brick stone walls and corridors. Right, I get it. I could only imagine how difficult it is to communicate from one side of the castle to the other. <laughs> telephones, yay, uh -huh. thank God for telephones. Thank goodness. Yes. Another joy of Game of Thrones is the friends you've made, actually, for life. And um, Richard is one of them. And, um, uh, and I was very fortunate that I had a majority of my stuff was with Richard. And, and I, I just adore him and I trust him implicitly. And, and I think it would, I mean, I mean, it, for me personally, it's, I'll never forget the way he, he said, mother. That's pretty nice. That's, no, that's yeah. sweet. That's nice. Um, yeah. He'll never say it again, but <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. I know. That's really nice. Now, if you had a pound for every time you've been asked some variation of a question about Jon Snow, how rich would you be? I wouldn't have to act ever again. I wouldn't have to do anything. I'd never lift a finger again. I'd just sit in my home. What would you buy with all that money? <laughs> uh, I'd buy a massive Jon Snow with loads of swords coming out of him and be like, see? <laughs> I mean, who, who, John, who? Who? Oh, I'm not really sure. Little character. John Snow. Ah, no, he's dead. It's funny and not funny because I don't understand why there's so much pressure on my character for mm. bringing him back. Maybe because I have some magical powers, but I've never brought anyone back to life. I mean, I have some potions. I give birth to Shadow Baby. I can put leeches on <laughs> on people's genitals, but <laughs> you know, it doesn't what you do in your I spare time has nothing to do with the, what we're talking about. No, go ahead. How does it feel that people have named their kids after you? That's really weird. I met like this. There were, oh, it was so embarrassing. It was this really ugly, like really ugly dog that I saw the other day, and this woman was like, "Oh my God, my dog is named Thoughts after you," and I was like, oh, <laughs> "Thanks." Good. <laughs> so cute. That's awesome. But Game of Thrones is perfect. I think so, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I have a... Uh, I, I am bad with eye colour, but that's what Elio and Linda are for. Uh, they, they correct me on my eye colour. And I have a horse that changes sex. Uh, he's not supposed to change sex, or she is not <laughs> supposed to change sex. She, she just seems uh, to do so... Actually. Who rides this androgynous horse? <laughs> <laughs> Whose is it? I think it was Bran's horse, actually. Oh. It was, I think it was... Uh, Dancer. Uh, yeah. It changes from a, a, a mare to a, a, a gilding or something in the, <laughs> between books. So uh, uh, that was pointed out to me by my fans. My fans are very eagle-eyed. They miss, <laughs> they miss nothing, you bloody bastards. <laughs> 
I buy a massive, massive model model of Jon Snow. And what would you do to it? Repeatedly kill it. Yeah. In front of people. In front of people. <laughs> yeah. Like, just to reiterate the point, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how he died. When you walk around some place like Comic Con, do you see people cosplaying as your character? I, I've seen a guy, yeah, I saw a guy. I mean, the, the most disturbing thing actually was like I was in uh, Sydney. Well, not disturbing, it was kind of funny, but I was in Sydney and a guy came up to me and said, hey, Dad, and it was, uh, he was comp looked exactly like Joffrey after Joffrey died with all the blood, like, hey, Dad. And then there was a Jamie who was also really good with you know, the stump and it's, uh, I, you know, I, it's cool because you have people that are so passionate about all, all things pop culture and also about Game of Thrones and then, and, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's, you know, we wouldn't be here without them. If I, you know, if I did meet, if I did just bump into Amelia Clark in the street and I was like, it's Khaleesi, I would get her to say, where are my dragons? <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you have a line that you see as your catchphrase or a line that, you know, that people tell you? Because I've prepared one for you. Oh, have you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? On my honour as a Tully and as a Stark, let him go or I will cut your wife's throat. Uh, that, <laughs> now, I like that. Yeah. Do you reckon you could whip that out? Do oh, you, you want me to say it? I, like, I, oh, I, God. I, I, oh, with all that emotion? <laughs> yeah. No, I, no gotcha. I could help you get into character if you want. Like, I yeah. sort of, do you want to be the knight? Yeah, no. yeah. I, I, I'll hold a knife to your throat. <laughs> like. uh, uh, I was like possibly going to say... Welcome home, Ned, or something. <laughs> the, the happier yeah. times are the ones Absolutely. that you treasure. See All you right. later, love. Have a safe journey. <laughs> You'll be me. back on the morrow. I All don't right. know. They'd like film the wolves separately, like the dog separately in LA, and then mm. CGI them to make them bigger. So they're actually real. They're being really vicious. They tra they're trained so well, you just like take a bone away from them, and they're like, ah. <laughs> um, which is what I'm like with food. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Do you, do you love your characters, or do they drive you insane at times, or...? Yes. Both? Both, yeah. <laughs> do you, do, I, do, I, do, I do love them, uh, even, even the bad guys. Even the ones I kill. Even part, Ramsey yeah. Bolton. You know, Ramsey's a misunderstood fellow. <laughs> <laughs> what are we misunderstanding? <laughs> he had a hard childhood. Yeah. <laughs>